your girl Jen, and today I thought we'd just sit down, catch up, and get ready. I have partnered with Hourglass, which is one of my favorite beauty brands, and I'll be using their products to show you how I did this face of the month. Hourglass is a cruelty-free luxury beauty brand, and I'll be featuring their new mascara. It's their Caution Extreme Lash Mascara, and I absolutely love it. I have also picked out some questions on Twitter so we can catch up, so let's just get started. All right guys, my face is cleansed and moisturized and now it is time for sunscreen. I'm using this one by Supergoop. It is their unseen sunscreen. I never skip out on sunscreen, especially if I'm gonna go out in the day. The UV rays are no joke and they're super damaging onto your skin. And so I wanna preserve this. So now let's jump straight into the foundation. I'm using this one by Hourglass. This is their Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation. And I love that it comes in a stick form. I kind of just apply it like war paint and now I'm just gonna get my beauty blender and it's just gonna blend right in. For concealer, I'm using this one by Too Faced. It is the one from their Born This Way collection. And I'm gonna apply this where I need some extra coverage. So that is around the eyes and around the nose. I think I'm gonna highlight my forehead too. I might as well. While I blend this out, I will be answering my first question. This one is by Margaret. She asks, when you woke up after the big day, what was the first thing that came to your mind? Love you, Jen, and congratulations. Thank you, Margaret. This is so sweet. Uh, so if you're just tuning into my channel, I got married two days ago and the wedding day was so insane. It was the best day of my life and that says a lot because I've had a lot of amazing days, but this one really just took the cake. But the day after, immediately I woke up and the first thing I did was I looked at Ben's hand, like his wedding ring hand, and I just like held it and it made me so happy to see like our rings together. It just really solidified the whole thing and it just made me really reflect on such a beautiful day. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bittersweet because we had been prepping for this day for a year and so, to not have to think about it anymore was really strange. I was thinking, I don't have to think about planning my wedding ever again. And so it felt empty, but in a good way. I don't know, I, I, I keep going on back and forth, but ugh, it was such a good feeling. I still felt so elated the next day. So now that we have a fabulous base, I'm gonna set this all in with a powder. This is Hourglass's Veil Translucent Setting Powder, and this sets makeup for longer wear. This is a vegan powder that blurs the appearance of pores and fine lines. And I love that the packaging is so beautiful and super functional. You lift open the cap and you tap the bottom and you have the perfect amount of powder for your face. I really love when packaging is functional and anything to make the mess not too crazy, especially when you're using powders is great. I'm gonna tap off the excess and I'm gonna apply that right underneath the eyes first. I'm gonna set this. And I've been loving to use this brush, by the way. It is so functional. I like how there's two heads. So this is for, you know, the little nooks and crannies of your face, like underneath the eyes. And then I'm gonna get the big fluffy side and I'm gonna dust the rest of my face. This is translucent, so it's gonna give you an invisible finish and it works with all skin tones. You guys, I love the finish on this. It just looks airbrushed and blurred. I feel like I'm wearing like a filter in real life. I love this for special occasions. I actually did this powder for my wedding, which was lovely. So I brought you guys a little closer because I'm gonna do my brows. I've been using my favorite brow pencil, which is by Hourglass. This is their brow sculpting pencil and I'm using dark brunette. I'm just gonna speed this process up because honestly, I can't chat and do brows. Every time I do that, it just makes my brows look super wonky. So I'm just doing my brows like I normally do. I'm gonna do kind of like a straighter brow with a baby arch. Wow, I am very proud of my brows today. I think this is one of the best brows I've ever done. So gonna give a pat on my back. So now we're gonna move on to eyeshadow. I'm using Fenty Beauty's Moroccan Spice Palette. I'm gonna grab this peachy shade over here and I'm gonna apply that all over my lid. Now I'm gonna get a fluffy brush. I'm gonna go into that same peach color and I'm just gonna buff it all out and make sure that it's all nice and blended out. I'm just doing the classic windshield wiper motion, just in and out, in and out. And today I'm just gonna kind of bring it up a little bit higher than I normally would because I just want this to be like a really pretty peachy doll-like look. 
So now I'm gonna go into this reddish color. I just want like the slightest bit of extra red on this. Not too intense, but just like a touch of color, just to give it a little bit more dimension. And now I'm gonna get a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna blend this guy out because I just, I don't want it to be too red. I want it to be still more peachy than red today. Before I forget, I'm gonna go back into that peachy shade and I'm just going to do the bottoms of my eyes. A lot of you guys know how much I love glitter, so I'm gonna grab this iridescent, kind of goldy flakes eyeshadow right over here, and I'm just gonna pop that onto the tops of my eyes. I'm just using my finger and I'm just pressing that in. I've noticed that when I press it in like this, there's no fallout. I mean, I could use a brush and setting spray, but it's way over there and I just, I just wanna use what I have right now. And there we go, we are done with eyeshadow today. A very simple eye look. And now let's move straight into the mascara. This is Hourglass's Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. So I'm going to start coating my lashes with this wand and I'm gonna show you guys the difference. I love the size of this mascara wand because if it was any larger, I would have a lot of difficulty applying it with my tiny lashes. So I'm coating one lash first so I can show you the difference. You can do like a little side-by-side -side comparison, but this is the one eye that is done, and this is the other. And this is really good for my tiny lashes. I'm very impressed. I freaking love this mascara, especially on days where I don't want to wear falsies. So this mascara is an all-in-one vegan mascara, and it really dramatically lifts your lashes. This gives your lashes 400% more volume, and I believe it. Look at that. It's definitely four times bigger than when I started. And 100% people saw that it lifted their lashes and gave them the drama that they needed. And I'm definitely part of that statistic now. It is absolutely doing the job for me. I know those who are gifted with lashes are probably looking at me being like, wow, those are it. But for me and my lashes, this is a transformation. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really picky with mascara, especially because sometimes I do feel like my tiny lashes are kind of hopeless, but with this, they do a banging job, putting in volume and just lifting up. And I freaking love this. And now my eyes are complete, so let's move on to contour. So to carve out my cheekbones, I'm using Benefit's Hula Light. I really like this because it's dark enough where it shows a difference, but light enough so in case I mess up, it doesn't show. And so I just go like this, and I'm just going to give myself some cheekbones, man. This is from Michelle. Is there gonna be a wedding video? Congrats to both of y'all. Thank you, Michelle. Yes, there is going to be a wedding video and it's probably gonna come out within the next four weeks. The company that we use said approximately four weeks. So I'm praying that it's not gonna be after four weeks because I'll be pretty bummed. I mean, normally I'm used to filming something and just banging it out right away. Uh, but for this, we used a production company. I've never used them before, but that's because I didn't want like my friends to film the wedding. I wanted them to really like sit down and enjoy the experience. And so that's why we went with this company. Ben and I really liked their work. So Ben and I thought we would give them a go. And so you guys will see the full video. I didn't vlog that day in particular because I don't know, there was just a lot of stuff going on and I just really wanted it to be in the moment. So all footage will be from them. So as soon as they give me the video, I will post it. Guys, I always freaking do this. I always add too much blush by accident. Ugh, okay, I'm just gonna really buff this out. But yeah, for blush, I just used this pinky shade by the Narcissus Palette. For a highlighter, I'm using this one by ColourPop. This is their Smoke and Whistles. I'm gonna go back in with my Beauty Blender. I'm gonna use the end of it and I'm gonna do this little swooping motion and I'm just gonna bounce that onto the tops of my cheeks. This really gives a super natural glow. I think it's because it's a cream highlighter, so it doesn't look dusty at all. It just looks like a natural sheen. So I'm gonna bounce that onto my cheekbones and then a little on my nose bridge and then on my cupid's bow. <laughs> this one comes from Lulu. She asks, what was your favorite part about your wedding? I feel like this is so hard because there were so many amazing moments of my wedding, but I guess from chronological order, uh, the first thing that I absolutely loved was just getting ready with my girls in the room the morning of. I 
really like just getting ready with people and it's fun to catch up and see what kind of makeup they're using and it's fun to like dance around with the music. Uh, we ordered some room service and we were just chilling. It's crazy how not nervous I was the day of. I even did my own makeup because I just didn't want anyone else to touch my face the day of because let's be honest, I do know my face the best and I like it to look a particular way. So I thought I would just take the reins on that. Another great moment was when we had our first look. This is when Ben saw me for the first time in my dress and I didn't expect to tear up, but I really did. We both just teared up. And I know it's because we've been waiting for this moment for such a long time. So it felt really cathartic for me to see him in his suit and me in my dress. There's so many other freaking amazing moments. Like for after we said our vows, I looked at the crowd and I just saw everyone that we freaking loved. It was a pretty small wedding. Like, 100 people. There's so many other moments honestly too, but we'll save that for like our separate wedding Q&A when that happens. I really want Ben to sit down and tell his side of the memories as well. I think it'll be really fun to film, but we'll be answering more wedding questions in that video. But now we're on the final step, which is lipstick. I'm using this one by Dear Dahlia. This is in the shade Bella, and it's of course a really pretty shade of coral, so I'm gonna apply that onto my lips right now. I'm just using my finger just to kind of like blot it a little bit because I don't want it to look too perfect. I want it to look really lived in and effortless and honestly, I see a lot of the Style Nanda models doing this, so I'm just, you know, applying it to myself. <laughs> All right guys, this is the finished face of the month. I had so much fun filming this and just catching up with you guys. I would love to know what you guys are up to in the comments down below, or if you guys like to tell me what kind of makeup look you'd like to see next, please write down below. I would love for you guys to check out the description box to check out all the amazing products by Hourglass. I wanna thank them once again because they are one of my favorite makeup brands and for them to be partnering with me is such a big deal. So thank you so much, Hourglass. And I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Mwah.